Hi, welcome to SolidWorks 2016 video tutorial. I want to do the milling plate, which I did before in some of the other programs. So let's start with a sketch, maybe on the front plane. I need three circles, one, two, and three. Let's set them all for construction. Okay, now give them some dimensions. This should be 100. This should be 110. And this should be 120. Now I need a rectangle, uh, not a rectangle, a triangle. So this might look something like this, okay? And this point should be aligned to that point vertical. Now add some dimensions. This should be 60 degrees and this one as well. And that's fully constrained. So now leave the sketch, make an extrude with that sketch, and the distance should be 9 millimeter. And confirm. Now I want to use the same sketch, so I will copy it, go to the sketch, Control C. And control V. This is not fully constrained. So edit it. Just pick it on maybe right here. And add a constraint from that point to the center point, and that should be coincident. Now let's delete this constraint, turn the triangle around and add a constraint between this point and that point and that should be vertical aligned. Leave the sketch, make another extrude with that sketch and this should be 5 mm. Confirm. Now I could do the fillets. First 10, yes, that's okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Confirm. And another fillet, which should be 8, and this edge, that edge, this one, that one, and this, and that one, and confirm. Okay, now let's paste the sketch once again, Control v edit it, they're all for construction right now, I deactivated and activated it, so all are for construction right now, but I need this circle to be standard. And again, it's not constrained, so this point and that point should be coincident. Leave the sketch, make an extrude 
with that, that sketch in the other direction and this should be I could go for the whole length 10 and okay paste the sketch again make sure nothing is selected control V edit the sketch make it fully constrained coincident okay and select them all deactivate this activate that and now this circle should be standard leave the sketch and make another extrude with that sketch change the direction and make it not from sketch plane but make it with an offset make this offset 4 and make the distance 6 let's take a look offset is 4 is the direction ok now it's ok and confirm Okay, nice. Okay, need another sketch for another extrusion. So go for sketch, go to the front plane, and that should be a circle. And that circle should be concentric to that edge. So I will go for, in this case, for such a constraint. So this one. And that edge should be concentric and the dimension of this circle should be sixteen. Leave the sketch, make an extrude, and this should be 10, yeah. Now let's make a pattern, a circular pattern. It's a feature, and the feature which should be patterned is that last boss extrude. I want to have three instances, 360 degrees, and the axis should be this one, and confirm. Okay. Now I got my complete volume. I want to reuse that sketch right here. So select it, Control C for copy, Control V. And now let's edit it and maybe hide this body. Select them all, deactivate for construction, activate it. And I want to use this circle especially, and I need a different dimension. The dimension should be 48. Okay, now I need a circle from that point up to this one. Another one from here to that one. And one from that point up to this one. Now let's trim. Seems it's over constrained, but that's no problem. Just remove this and that angle. And now it's under constrained. Move it a little bit away 
and make a coincidence between these two points. Okay, now let's leave the sketch and make an extrude. And that extrude is in the other direction. Yeah. And it should start with an offset, and the offset should be, let's say, 10, should be correct. And then it should go that's four okay now I need another sketch again on the front plane And that should be a hexagon. Let's see. Yeah, it's a well level. Six sides. Should start here. That's a little bit small, but doesn't matter. Just give it a length, and the length should be from this side to that side, and this should be. 28 okay and turn it yeah that's the right one so this point and that point should be vertical aligned okay leave the sketch make another extrude Can change the direction and it should start not from the sketch plane but with an offset again 10 and it should should be merged to the one before that's okay and the distance should be 8 yeah 8 and confirm nice I could reuse the sketch once more so just control V and edit the sketch again select them all for construction Disable, enable it, and make it fully constrained by setting this coincident constraint. And I just need the circles. I need three circles, and I just change the diameters. So the smaller one, this one should be 48 next one should be 50 and the big one should be 52 don't get irritated by the triangle I don't really need it but it's I could delete these but let's leave it Oh, just delete it. it. It doesn't really matter. One, two, three. This will be a new body in any case, so I could hide the second body as well. Okay. Now I need some lines. One which goes straight up, 
one of the circles and this should be vertical aligned okay and for construction only another line to this one and once more okay now give it some dimensions this should be 10 degrees and this one should be 100 degrees no, it's not quite right yeah okay and let's make a circle right here on that one and put this one right there coincident and the same over here And this point should be on that line coincident and let's make this one and that one not for construction this should be for construction that should be for construction now let's trim Okay, and right here, right there, here and there, so something is too much. And that might be one of this. Okay. This looks good. Leave the sketch and again make an extrude. Turn the direction and it should go with an offset that offset should be 10 as before and the length should be the dimension should be 7 and confirm let's show this body okay this should be a pattern Okay, I want to do a pattern with that body, therefore I would need an axis, so I will go for an axis. Go to reference geometry, axis, and just use that surface as reference and you got an axis. Confirm. Now I can do a pattern, a circular pattern. That's the axis. Okay. 360 degrees, three instances, equal spacing, and I want to go for a body. For this body, and confirm. That's really nice. Maybe let's give these bodies a different color. So let's try to select them all. 
Oh, it's not possible. Okay. So let's give this body a different color. There you go. And let's make this uh, red one. Okay. That body as well. Red. Okay. That one. Red color. And the last one. As well, a red color. Now let's show our body. And now I want to remove these bodies from that body. Okay? Therefore, I need to combine command that's right here because I moved it into that ribbon otherwise you have to look for insert and it's I think features yeah there it is okay so go for combine and I want to subtract no, oh, that's already selected, that's not good, so deselect it. So go for combine. I want to subtract. The main body is this one, and I want to subtract this body, that body, this one, and that one. Show preview and confirm. Very nice. Now let's go for our holes. So go to whole wizard, it should be legacy hole, diameter should be 10 and the depth should be through all. So go to positions and I want to have one on that surface and I want to catch that center point. Okay. Confirm. Then I need another one. Again, diameter is 10, position should be on that surface, and go for that center point, confirm. Then there is a hole with 8 millimeters diameter, so go on hole with it, go for this surface. First change that diameter to 8, positions that surface and try to catch the center point of this edge, right here, confirm, and there's another one right here, so therefore I would need a sketch. So let's make a sketch right on that surface. And there should be a point which rests right here, vertical aligned to the other one, yes. And the distance should be onto that face and the distance should be 11 and make sure that this point and that point are vertical aligned okay now leave the sketch let's make another hole with the whole wizard feature 
home wizard and again the legacy hole and the diameter should be four and the depth again should be through all that's okay go to positions and select that point first the face then the point okay and confirm now I can do my patterns so this should be one with three go to circle a pattern select the features that's whole not whole five but whole two and whole three yes three 360 degrees and i can use that axis that axis for the pattern and confirm nice and the next pattern circular that's hole five and that hole that's hole three no that's hole four this one and the axis is again that one but I need six instances. Looks good. Confirm. And there is another hole right in the middle, which is 12. Okay. Make diameter 12 select the, oh, I could do it from the other side select the surface and that edge but the diameter not the depth should be 12 and confirm and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this one if you want to see more SolidWorks videos give it a like down below leave a comment thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye